Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Hunt. Welcome to my student technique video for Food Production One at Northwest Florida State College. In this video, I'll be teaching you how you can make a simple and quick hollandaise recipe, as well as a few tasty applications and dishes that it can be used for. With a few basic ingredients in place for the sauce, we can get started cooking. Now for the basic hollandaise base, I have these ingredients in place separated egg yolks, lemon juice, melted butter, salt and white pepper for seasoning, and optional paprika. Now, whenever serving a dish that uses uncooked eggs, it should be required that you pasteurize the eggs first. These eggs that I'll be using for the sauces, I'll heat to a temperature that'll be safe to eat in their raw state. To pasteurize the eggs, I've heated this water here to 140 degrees. I'll hold the water at that temperature and place all the eggs that I'll use for sauce in here for three minutes so that the eggs can reach the same 140 temperature. After the eggs have been pasteurized, they'll be ready to use for our sauce. I'll be using three eggs each for both of our sauces. Now hollandaise sauce can be cooked in a couple of different heat sources. This way that I'm going to be doing it is a basic way of doing it on a saute pan. A good technique for this method is to use a surface thermometer. By using one of these, I can tell that I don't want it to go above 150, the pan because then that's when egg yolk can start to cook. Before having heat applied, I'll make the egg and lemon base. This is three egg yolks beaten, and I'll start with two fluid ounces of the lemon juice. On low heat, I'll incorporate both and season to enhance the flavor and texture of eggs being used. I can see the egg smooth at around 135. I'll take it off the heat and I'll start to emulsify with the melted butter. Add a little bit more than half the butter and then return to the heat. And then use a little bit of the heat now to emulsify the sauce. It should begin to thicken and then you can finish it by adding additional butter. Should be a thickness that can cover a spoon as a sauce should. With the sauce space we've made here with these ingredients, you can now season and flavor as you would like for the dish that you'll want to use it with. A way I really enjoy using hollandaise sauce is turning its flavor into a Maltese Malte sauce, which is just the hollandaise and orange flavoring. I'll enhance it with some fresh orange zest. about a teaspoon's worth for this amount. And now as you can see, once you've taken this sauce base off the heat, it will begin to firm up. So adding some extra liquid can be a great way to make it serviceable and add more flavor. And for that, I'll add some additional orange juice, about a tablespoon in total. and some paprika for some slight spice and color. Now this is a sauce that I will be using for a dish before lunch. This sweetened holidays can be great on something with seafood around this time. Right here I've made a C 
Salmon Bagel Benedict, which I'm gonna apply this Maltese sauce on. This Maltese sauce is a great way to put a sweet and tangy flavor component to a dish that serves hollandaise. Now, a hollandaise sauce is only fresh temporarily and should not be kept at room temperature so that it won't become unsanitary to use. Now, if your sauce base is still fresh, here's another way you can flavor a hollandaise. And what I'll be quickly putting together here is a Avgo Limono sauce. This is a sauce that's made into a Mediterranean flavor profile. The additional ingredients I'll be using is some warmed artichoke and olive oil puree, and about a tablespoon's worth of Chardonnay white wine, lemon juice, and half and half. Of this puree, I'll add about two tablespoons. Herbs that can flavor well also, I have thyme and oregano leaves. To temp this sauce and reconstitute it, I'll bring it back up to heat on the saute pan and add butter. To pair with the Avgo Limono sauce, I've made a breaded caprese stuffed chicken, tomato, mozzarella, basil, and artichoke. It's a very bright and flavorful sauce that can go well with lean proteins and vegetables alike. Now with the sauces that we've made today, we can keep them for up to about four hours, refraining from room temperature, and they can be served fresh to eat. Thank you everyone for following along with me as we've cooked today. I recommend that you try this technique on your own. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.